A series of paintings depicting Portsmouth during and in the immediate aftermath of the Blitz have gone on display at Portsmouth Museum. They form part of a collection celebrating the work of artist Edward King. The new display brings together around 70 of his paintings and our reporter Ben Trappis went along to find out more. In the early 1900s, Edward King was a prolific artist who was just establishing himself in the UK art world when tragedy struck. The death of his wife caused King to suffer a breakdown, which saw him admitted to St James's Hospital, where he was encouraged to use his art as a form of therapy. Susan Ward, the museum's curator of art, explained how bringing together King's artwork was an important move. I know they'd previously been on display as part of the Blitz, but I thought there's a much bigger story to tell. Um, so I, I, I think there was a, a, a sort of importance to get as much of the collection uh, when, a, when a lot of um, museums are closing and things. You know, um, it's very important to um, sort of publicise the collections which are amazing, the majority of which have been donated by local, the local people um, in requests or gifts. Um, so I just thought it would be a perfect opportunity to um, remind the public of this amazing thing, this amazing resource we've got on our doorstep and it's free and there's this fantastic uh, collection of things that are here that people need to be reminded about. When the Blitz hit in 1941, it was an attack that changed the landscape of Portsmouth forever. The mayor, Dennis Daly, was keen to document the devastation caused by the bombings. Daly learnt that King had been an artist before his downturn, and he commissioned him to capture that part of history via a series of paintings, rather than through photography. King went out each day and painted over 30 scenes that graphically show the war-torn state of the city. 1941, uh, on the 10th and 11th of January, Portsmouth had the worst two hits. Um, so that's when the Guild Hall was destroyed and many of the other buildings were kind of just levelled. Um, so it, it, we kind of thought this would be a nice introduction to doing uh, a bigger project about the Blitz next year. It, it'll kind of lead into it and we're, we're planning lots of talks and workshops and possible loans from other galleries and various things to kind of, um, well not celebrate the Blitz, but just kind of not forget kind of what, what happened and the extent and the sort of endurance and resilience of the local people and how they keep through it. When Edward King died in 1951, he did so in relative obscurity. Now, through this collection, his place as a British Impressionist of immense importance and respect is secured. Susan explained what makes his wartime images so striking. He doesn't paint a lot of people in, in, in the Blitz series. It's all about capturing um, buildings. So um, I think it's, I think it's uh, really testament to, although he hasn't included people, I think it's testament to people's resolve um, to, to come through all of that devastation and to make the city you know, as vibrant. Um, as it is, I think I think it's a very good lesson in, in history. Sort of learn from your mistakes, or you know, move forward. And it's it's very positive. You know, it's it, those paintings aren't necessarily melancholy or depressing. Um, it's kind of like this is a point in time, but we move on and make things better and bigger. And I and I think there's a very positive lesson to learn from it. The collection will remain on display until early 2017. Ben Trepas, for that Solent.